Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Today, I'm going to be working on the third episode of the Urban Decay Naked series. And today's palette is featured, here it is, Naked Heat. And if you wanna see how I got this look, please stay tuned. Okay, welcome back my beautiful wildflowers. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And today what I wanna do is, as you notice, I'm wearing a orange hoodie. And orange is really not my color, but I did that because I like to match my eye look with my clothes. And that means today I will be working with Naked Heat. Okay, and um, let me show you the color story here. And you know, this is one that um, I love these burnt orange colors and this col these colors actually work any time of year. And I really like the versatility this um, palette has. And so I'll be working with that since this is part of the uh, Naked series and it is going to culminate at the end with my rankings of all the palettes, okay? And so far I have two up, which is the um, uh, Naked Reloaded, and also the first one was, let's see, which one was it? Naked Cherry. So, and I will go ahead and link those below in case you haven't had the opportunity to see it. But before I jump in, I was trying to uh, think of a way this would make sense because I wanted to get some information out to you guys too as well because we're in Ramadan right now and Ramadan is a really busy time for me because we do a lot of things regarding worship, fasting, and all those things. It's not just a day that goes by, but it's full of, you know, certain prayers and also reading the Quran as well as, um, uh, you know, fasting. So <laughs> there's a lot of activity uh, to put it, you know, mildly. And so I've been thrown off my schedule a little bit because I have to pre-record. And that means my Saturday, self-care Saturday has suffered. And I feel really bad for that because I know some of you really depend on that day. But I thought to myself, why am I waiting till Saturday to do a self-care Saturday? So I'm going to try to throw in, um, being that the, um, uh, let me finish my thought here though, right? <laughs> I will go ahead and throw in something little about self-care in each one of the videos. But what I was going to say is that not all of them will have it because I have pre-recorded some of it. But the things that I'm going to start recording now, and it may not be in order, guys, I will have something in there. And recently, I purchased these 60 Empowering Questions and Affirmation Cards. And this is such a great set. If you guys have a chance to get this, I'm going to link it below. Um, and it comes from Amazon. And the reason why I want to call this one out is because... Let me read to you. When you first open the box, there is a thank you card, okay? And let me read to you what this thank you card says. And I have left them a, a very good um, uh, review. And this is what it says. Thank you. We would like to extend a heartfelt thank you for choosing us. As a small family business of a mom and two boys, we are heavily relying on Amazon reviews to keep our business going. Though it may not seem like much, reviews make a huge difference in our small business's ability to survive on Amazon. And we thank you in advance for taking two minutes to provide us with one. And then she goes to actually explain how to do it, what, what page to go to, what to pick. And so um, she goes to, to that length to do that. And the thing is, I really love these cards. And, um, you know, I didn't get, this is, I mean, I paid fully for it. She doesn't know I exist. Um, but I really felt like, wow, you know, she took the time to put these cards in here. And then the thing that I love about these cards is the fact that I can read them. And why I say this is because I also have another set of cards that I bought for women. It's affirmation cards um, for women. And some of the littering is just so fancy that I'm like, what is that? And I actually gave one to my husband. I said, read this. He couldn't read it at all. And so, you know, but where these are very colorful, they're pictures and they're simply written so I can read them and on the back not only is there affirmation for the day there is also uh, a question for you 
to kind of ask yourself, okay? So like today I picked this card and I really love this card. It says, I persevere through all things, no matter what, lo what life throws my way. Let me say that again since I stuttered a little here. I persevere through all things, no matter what life throws my way. And here's a card. It's a beautiful card. And this is something that, you know, when things are not going well, you just say it to yourself, you know, whatever happens, you know, I'm going to survive this. It's, you know, I'm going to survive it. And I'm going to be stronger for it coming out of the other end. Okay. And then on the back of it, there are little like um, questions you can ask throughout the day. Like this one, what significant challenges have I been through lately? And how did I overcome them? You know, I mean, you must overcome it. You're still alive, right? So you're doing little steps every day. You just need to affirm it for yourself to say, hey, you know what? I am having a rough, you know, rough life right now, but I'm here again today and I've picked myself back up again today. And so those are the important things that you need to remember. And it's, sometimes it's very hard to remember. So that's hugely on self-care. And so I really love this cards, these cards, and, and they were very inexpensive. I'm gonna go ahead and link it below for you. Um, because if you're interested in something like this, it might be nice to help this lady out with two boys. And so, yeah. Okay, so uh, enough of that. And, oh, and another thing I want to start doing, I'm like, am I ever going to get to the makeup? Maybe not. Sorry. But um, these are important, okay? Okay, I like to feature the comments now. Um, again, uh, you may not see it consistently until time goes on because I pre-recorded other videos which may not have these contents in there. So what I want to do is here is a uh, really good... Um, suggestion or a comment, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the screen. And this is by Jen Button. And she was responding to one of the um, products uh, in the Allure box. And it says, I get Allure, but I reorder my favorite K-Beauty products from a com company called Bloom Mink Coco <laughs> out of California. I even got one of those milk masks from from your last video. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I just can't see. Wondered if you ever heard of um, them. They have great sales. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find that company. And if I, if I can find that company, I will link it below as well. So thank you so much, Jen. I really appreciate these hints from, um, you know, uh, the wildflowers because you guys know so much more than I do. I don't know what I don't know. And so these are always good recommendations and I'm going to start picking out these gems and I've seen them in a past and I'm so sorry that I have not been picking them as I saw them. So all of the um, family can really benefit from it. Okay. And so that's that. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, now to why we're here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go off camera real quick, put on my, uh, face and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. What I did was I primed my lids with my MAC Painterly. Uh, it's not Painterly, actually it's a paint pod, but this is the Soft Osher. And this is a little bit more my skin tone. Um, the Painterly one is actually a little bit pinkier and so that's more of a cool tone. And since I didn't have any of this, uh, let me give you the comparison. So you see the difference here? Okay, this is the uh, Soft Osher and this is the Painterly, okay? And so my skin tone leans more to the yellow than the pink. And so, yeah, and um, I didn't have it and I just received it. So I'm just going to go ahead and I, this is what I used. And this is actually perfect match. And I wish they had a foundation of this color because it, it is a perfect match. And I did apply that using my flat concealer brush. And then what I used for my eyebrows is my Brow Wiz. And here it is. This is my go-to Brow Wiz and I believe Ash Brown. Okay, and so let's get started here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this extra. You notice I never open these, these stay sealed in here. So I should probably open it and use it one of these days. So again, here is the, um, the color story. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let's see. I will go in with the fluffiest brush I can find because I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a, a little bit of a base. And I will do that using this color. And this color is called, hold on. Okay, this color is called Slice. It's right here. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this kind of all over, avoiding the, um, uh, the immediate um, 
below the brow, okay? So I'm just gonna put this all over though, um, actually like this. And I go directly, and those of you who've not watched me before, I go directly from uh, pan to lid, and I don't dust anything off because I'd like to see what the, um, what the eyeshadow will do, okay? Next, I will go into the transition with this one here, and it's called Cayenne, okay, Cayenne. And so this is, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this more into transition, not as high as the original color here, but a little bit here, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and darken up the crease with another color um, after this. I think I'm gonna use He Devil. So let's see. Just gonna go over a little bit, but not as high as the other one. Okay, next I will go in with my smaller uh, brush here. Okay, my fluffy brush. And I will go into the He Devil which is this one here. And I'm gonna go directly into the crease and stay in the crease and try not to uh, fall out of the crease, okay? Because I just wanna deepen this look. And so, and I'm gonna stay right in the crease. And this, this is a reason why it's important that you use the right size brushes. And this is, this is my refer um, set, which actually has um, perfect size uh, brushes for somebody with their hooded you know, eyelids like I do. And next, what we'll do is we will go in with scorched, yeah, scorched on the outside half of the eyelid. Is that it? Right there. Right there. And this is a shimmer. This is the first shimmer I'm going to use. And let's just go ahead and pick this up on my flat packing brush. Uh, let's see. There we go. Flat packing brush. And I just want to pick this up on the outside to kind of darken up the outside a little bit. And because I'm going to come in with something lighter in the front half. Okay. Okay, next for the second half, the first half of the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use this color Lombre. And I'm using the same brush here. I just um, used the, um, you know, the color off and then it worked perfectly fine. I haven't been really using it um, because these are my, these are not synthetic. So I, I didn't know how I would act, but man, it works just fine. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and tap this on. Okay, let me just blend this real quick. And unfortunately though, there is no light color that I could throw in the middle, but that's okay though. But I do want to go ahead and use this um, lighter color here. What is this one called? This one is called Ounce. And I'm gonna do that uh, right below the eyebrow bone. So that way I can lighten it up. And that makes all the difference in a world. So take a look. Okay. And this really cleans it up, you know, when you do this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyes and uh, the rest of my makeup, but I will come back on and let you know what it is that I used, okay? So I will be right back. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, here we are. This is the finished product. What do you think? 
And let me tell you what I did, okay? After I finished with the eyeshadows, I didn't do any more eyeshadow other than I did go ahead and line my eyes using my 24-7 in a color whiskey, okay? And then I lined the waterline under and I smudged with this brush. And then I just went in with the old shadow uh, brush, which had the, let's see, cayenne right here. I focused it on the waterline, just kind of touched the waterline, and this is what uh, this is where um, the color comes from. And as far as the um, color scheme, what I wanted to do was I wanted to keep it kind of like the orangey heat. So what I did was I used the KVD beauty, KVD, okay, no, KWW, no, KKW. Oh my God, I'll get it one of these days. Uh, yeah, KKW Beauty, you know, this is uh, Kim Kardashian West. And I went in with her honey palette and this is in the shade of let's see which one is this one of course this is so hard to read sorry about that and this is in honey love okay so it you know it's perfect because i don't want anything pink because this is an orange kind of color scheme so i did go in with this one it is a bit pale but it's perfect and um to keep with that same theme as far as my um Bronzer, I did use the, uh, here, MAC. And this is the one without the glitter in it, or glitter or shine or whatever. This is just a flat matte color. And I believe this one is in, let's see, golden. Okay, so this is what I did. Well, what I did was I warmed up my face a little. I put it underneath, uh, up here, and uh, my jawline, so that's it. And as far as the highlighter, I wanted to keep with the theme again of being golden and kind of like a, you know, the heat look. And I went in with my MAC. This is my Aladdin. This was a limited edition, but I think they do have this in another one. It's called Always One Jump Ahead. And here it is. And this is, uh, this is the shimmer that you see actually on my cheekbones. And I mean, it just placed it beautifully. And I really love this product. And then as far as my lips, again, KKW, and this is an, uh, let's see, Lip Sheer, okay? And this color here, and let me see if I can see a color on these. Sometimes these just have numbers, but this is um, Honey 3. Yeah, it's Honey 3. And this is what I lined my lips with. And then I went in with the lipstick, um, Honey 1. <laughs> which is the very light shade. And I just didn't want to take away from my eyes. I don't typically wear something that's really light, but I don't want to take away from my eyes. So I, I gone ahead and did that. And now finally, I don't want to forget this because this is the reason why, I mean, Tom Ford, and this is the recently purchased um, foundation. It is a perfect color match. Not only that, now I know why I pay big bucks for Tom Ford because it is such a good product. I mean, it went on. I mean, look at it. It's flaw. It makes my skin flawless. I mean, it doesn't settle into the lines like normal, you know, usually I fight with that. And, um, as well as, I mean, it went on creamy. It looks dewy. It looks, it makes my skin look really healthy and young. And, you know, and I don't know if you know this, but Tom Ford puts a lot of money, I mean, millions of dollars every year into research. Matter of fact, he's got an organization called Tom Ford Research, and that's where his skincare product also comes out of also. So it's not that you're just paying for the name, you're paying for the research and the products that comes out of it. I know a lot of people say, well, you're paying for the name. No, you're not. And I, I mean, some, some, I'm, I'm going to admit you do, but when you see products come out, like this and it's just it works and it does what it says it does yeah it's gonna cost so anyway yeah i really love the foundation so let me wear it throughout the day and i'll let you know if any of that changes okay and before that um before i go another another one okay and this is by uh i by terry and this is a hyaluronic hydro concealer i just got this and i ordered actually from by terry directly and it comes from France but they're really quick to come and uh, I don't want to use the new one but I did have a sample of it hold on uh let's see yeah here these samples they come like this but I had other ones so I keep getting these samples because I love it so much like this and but it is hyaluronic acid concealer but it look I mean again flawless I mean it is a little bit pricey but I mean instead of buying three or four different concealers I mean I just 
invest in this one because I did try it several times thinking, okay, maybe because, um, you know, I'm having a good day. You know, I went through so many of these blister packs and I said, you know, I just got to buy it because it's great. And so that's that. And it's a uh, by Terry actually is really good for aging skin. It, you know, works on, um, skincare in their makeup. And that's the thing. And to set all this, I used the by Terry hyaluronic acid powder. And this was actually a gift with purchase when I purchased um, different things from them. And here it is. And again, you know, beautiful. And it doesn't, it doesn't cake. I mean, I'm going to get closer in so you can see the, the lines on my forehead, which I do have. Okay. And see around the eyes. Okay. I just want you to notice that how smooth this concealer goes on. Okay. And then also I concealed, a, I concealed a little here and here and not because I have dark spots, but because I like to have, I like to brighten that part of my face. Okay. And so again, very good. Anyway, I'm supposed to be giving you a <laughs> lowdown on the Urban Decay Heat Palette instead of all this, but I was just so impressed with the stuff. I'm like, wow. And I also did purchase the By Terry uh, Foundation, which this is the uh, uh, skincare foundation. It, I just took it out of the box because I was going to use it. Here it is. But I decided to use this for all natural look. Well, I'm going to do a look sometime here soon to look all natural using all of the, all of the by Terry products. Okay. And so that's that. And as far as the naked dumb um, heat, again, one of my favorite of the naked series. I mean, I love, love, love this palette as well as the naked cherry way up there. Not my favorite favorite, but it's way up there. One of my favorites. Okay. Uh, as well as my, um, uh, naked honey, same thing. I'm mean, so, it, it's so easy to blend very, very little fallout. And I did have a little bit of fallout that I had to actually take off. And that's, was in my shimmers because I packed on so much of it in my brush and, you know, I go directly from pan to eyelid. And so, but it's actually all of these, I used, let me see one, two, three, four, five, six shades out of the pan. And they all blend so well together. And this will last. And I've used, yeah, I've used these palettes over and over. So I know it will last, but, um, I will let you know. And, um, yeah. So what do you think? I mean, do you like the look? Let me give you a, uh, another look here. And yeah, and I really, I do enjoy it. So, okay. That was the third, third episode of the series for the, um, and, Urban Decay's Naked series. Okay. So that is that. So if you have any question, please put it below. And if you have any comments, have you used this before? What do you think? And do you like this look? And do you like the fact that I did the darker eyes and tamed down the lips and kept the cheeks and face looking natural? Do you like it? Or do you think I should have done anything different? So do let me know. Okay. My beautiful wildflowers. If I added any value, please do give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We have so much fun here. Do try to subscribe. And so, and if you do decide to subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell button and then select all so that way you will know every time I upload a new video. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers. Thank you so, so very much for spending time with me. I know I got talkative. I know I introduced things that I wasn't intending on introducing, but yeah, I just want to fill you guys with so much information. Okay. Okay. So I want you to have a good day, a good night, a good week or a good weekend whenever you're watching this. But just remember, don't sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.